Welcome to a special episode of Beyond the Roundup series. Today, we'll be talking about MS patients and the mRNA-based COVID-19 vaccines. We'll take a look at a recent annual meeting of America's Committee for the Treatment and Research in Multiple Sclerosis, which touched on this subject. And so, from Trial Site News, I'm Adrian, and our episode starts now. So the question has been raised, are the current mRNA-based vaccines authorized for emergency use by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration safe for those diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, or MS, especially for those currently taking disease-modifying therapies? Now, this is no trivial matter, and we here at TrialSite News have received a number of community members in our audience who wanted to know. Now, while the two mRNA-based vaccine candidates, Pfizer's, BioNTech, and Moderna, currently authorized for emergency use, are generally deemed safe and effective for a vast majority of the population, what about those diagnosed with multiple sclerosis presently on disease-modifying treatments? Now, recently, a statement made at the annual meeting of America's Committee for Treatment and Research in Multiple Sclerosis, or the ACTRIMS Forum 2021, was cause for thought. Dr. Amit shared that some DMTs could affect COVID-19 responses, which may be influenced by the timing of the vaccine relative to the treatment. Now, while MS patient identification wasn't part of the data collection associated with COVID-19 vaccine clinical trials, the overwhelming consensus of experts and MS organizations is that the COVID-19 vaccines are safe for multiple sclerosis patients. So here are a list of some of the questions and their answers. The first is, did the National MS Society convene a group of experts to review available science to make recommendations about MS and mRNA-based vaccination? Yes, they acknowledge that they don't know how many people participating in the COVID-19 vaccine trials had multiple sclerosis, so the data isn't available as to responses, safety, and so on and so forth. However, the National MS Society guidance is informed by data from the general population in the vaccine clinical trials and data from studies of other vaccines administered to people with MS. The next question is, will this guidance from the National MS Society be updated as more available data comes online from the ongoing studies of the COVID-19 vaccine? The answer is yes. Next, we ask, are the mRNA-based COVID-19 vaccines generally safe for MS patients? Well, the National MS Society shares that the Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna vaccines are safe for people with MS, and they are safe to use with multiple sclerosis DMTs. They posted, however, that although most DMTs are not expected to affect responses, some may make the vaccines less effective, and coordinating the timing of vaccine administration with these DMTs may provide the best vaccine response. So what is the concern then? Well, according to at least Bar Or, certain MS treatments may suppress some parts of the immune system, such as DMTs do. Hence, reducing the levels of protection afforded by vaccines. So what are the key details involving MS drugs and COVID-19 vaccine responses? Well, there appear to be two factors to consider, including the elements of the immune response of the DMT impacts and when DMT effects take place in the time course or cascades of cellular and humoral vaccine responses. So what then are some examples of other vaccinations? Well, Ms. George shared examples from the Velos study of tetanus pneumonia and other non-COVID-19 vaccines where relapsing MS patients on an anti-CD20 drug known as ocrelizumab experienced lower immune response to vaccinations when compared with patients not on this particular drug or patients treated with interferon beta-1A. However, they were nonetheless able to mount humoral responses to the vaccines and neoantigen studied. So what then is the general guidance for MS patients on DMTs? Well, MS patients on DMTs in working with their physician should consider the coordination of both COVID-19 vaccination and DMT timing. Now, what does the UK MS Society have to say on this topic? Well, the UK's MS Society shares that based on the evidence to date, they do not believe that the current vaccines, 
which include AstraZeneca plus Pfizer and Moderna, will exasperate MS or its symptoms, nor contribute to relapse or prevent DMTs from being effective. They are on the record saying that we have no reason to believe any COVID-19 vaccine will be dangerous for people with MS, including those on immunosuppressive drugs. Moreover, the UK-based society reiterates that these vaccine candidates don't contain any virus capable of triggering infection. And they went on to say that it should be safe for people on all types of disease-modifying therapy. So does the UK society agree, then, that some DMTs may reduce vaccine efficacy? The answer is yes. They conclude that some DMTs may in fact reduce COVID-19 effectiveness as they prevent the immune system from mounting a complete immune response to the vaccine. Consequently, the UK society deduces that the COVID-19 vaccine may be less effective for people that have recently taken or are currently consuming certain DMTs. Now, for the UK's specific thoughts on various MS treatments and COVID-19 vaccination, you can follow the link in the description below for their detailed thoughts on how some DMTs could impact COVID-19 efficacy. So what are other points of view? Well, recently, Eric Sechrist from the Department of Neurology, West Virginia University, wrote a piece titled Multiple Sclerosis, B-Cell Therapy, and the COVID-19 Vaccine, where he raises a very personal dilemma. Dr. Sechrist is a clinically practicing neurologist with multiple sclerosis himself, who happens to be taking B-cell depleting therapy. Dr. Sechrist shares that providers on B-cell depleting therapies such as ocrelizumab and rituximab diminish the immunization effect of vaccines, although the degree of effect varies by vaccine and timing. He points out current recommendation includes to vaccinate prior to commencement of therapy. He goes on to describe a number of recommendations that align with the Veloc study mentioned above. He concludes that the risk of infection for healthcare workers like himself continues to rise as well, and infected providers can spread the virus to other patients. And so he says that vaccination is the best chance of protecting ourselves and our patients from this terrible disease, and is recommending it for all of his patients in healthcare. So as the COVID-19 vaccines are still under emergency use, and we here at Trial Site News have requests from MS Patient Network members for ongoing tracking, we will continue to monitor for any updates on guidance or new material data associated with the risks of vaccine use for MS patients. And that, my friends, brings our episode to a close once more. As always, thank you so much for joining us on the program today. From Trial Site News, I'm Adrian, and I will see you all next time.